Joining us in the studio is food scientist Professor Sascha Rohn from the University of Hamburg. Welcome to Tomorrow Today. You. Would you care for a vegetarian steak? I think the idea behind it is really interesting and this is a really good innovation. But I think we are in the first steps of, of getting such a product into the supermarket mm -hmm. because taste is a problem and consistency could be a problem. But uh, we are looking forward to have in the future such a good product in I the understand. supermarket. Well, instead of disguising plant proteins as meat, we could also just eat peas or beans, legumes. And that's actually what you're working on. How come the cultivation of these plants is actually being decreased? Yeah, because of the a kind of traditional view, because the, the recipes in the past, they were really uh, boring or the, the, the taste was really boring. But now we try to get some in innovation into the such products. And for, from ecological uh, point of view, this would be really good for, for our farmland and for, for the production. Why is that? Because these pla uh, plants uh, have some benefits for the follow-up plants. And so there could be a really good diversity in the field, uh, improving the soil, improving the follow-up plants, mm -hmm. uh, not so much pesticide uh, use. And these are really good advantages. I understand. But the key point would be to pitch peas and beans to us to make them more attractive to us. How would you want to proceed? Uh, we also try to get some innovative products into the markets. We work, uh, for example, with noodles. Mm -hmm. Because noodles, uh, this, uh, there are some benefits for the human nutrition. Because when you make uh, noodles from pure pea meal, then they are gluten free, mm -hmm. and this would be good from from uh, for uh, consumers that they, they suffer from uh, celiac disease. Mm -hmm. And so this would be really uh, good products for for such a uh, for such a group of. of persons. I understand. Would these noodles actually still taste like peas or beans or do we just extract the proteins? No, uh, they still taste like, like peas. This is, this is one of the problems we still have. But uh, it could also be that we say, no, this product, uh, this taste has to be in the product because okay. it originates from peas. Uh -huh. It's not an off flavor. It's an add-on flavor because you can do maybe some innovative recipes where you especially use noodles from peas and not from wheat. Okay. I mean, we already have soy and tofu products on the market. Aren't they good enough? Uh, they are really good, but I think uh, from a global point of view, uh, a, a diversity is nece necessary to get more plants and more products into the market. Mm -hmm. uh, soy is really dominating, but uh, when you take a look uh, at, at Europe, uh, we have some regions that are really good for pea production and really good for uh, bean production. Mm -hmm. We have not so good farmland for soy. For that means this could also help us to get out of this problematic situation with raising cattle and all the ecological problems following from that? Yes, yes, absolutely. I think there will be a niche maybe for this veggie meat, mm -hmm. but uh, I think we still need the, the original meat. But there are, if there are some, some alternatives, for example, then we have a good diversity in the market. Thanks a lot for the talk, Sascha Ron.